So, our first team in will be the Clever Dog College. Okay, Clever Dog College. So, team of four dogs, four handlers and one batten. Number one goes round the course, comes back over the finish line and there's a baton change. In an ideal world, it needs to be like a relay, not dropped on the floor, otherwise they get penalised. Okay. That's the fundamentals. We're looking for four dogs, four clears, obviously with four handlers. And two years ago I commentated on this and it happened. Today Kate and I are sharing it. So first dogs away, we've got Pauline Wester working Rosie Ball, the Terrier across Spaniel. Nice flowing course. I reckon there's one bit where they might get caught out. I'm not going to tell you where it is, because they'll work it out themselves, I'm sure, at some point. Not so bad so far. Medium's dog flying around. Nicely there with Pauline and Rosie. So they're coming across the dog walk now. And they're going to turn back over to Casey Hurdle. Round to the leads. They're heading up towards the top corner with the rigid tunnels. So pushes the dog into the rigid tunnel. Picks the dog up, comes round to the left. And there's a bad check. Seven dogs away. Which is Carol Stone with Maddie. Carol in charge of the board of six years of age. to go with a big round of applause because they've got four dogs around with five faults which take my word for it is a major achievement i'll pass you over to kate thank you very much nigel so our ladies are in the arena this is the stour valley crazy dog ladies hey there's a few of, there's a few of them here this weekend i think Okay, so we're ready to go. Oh, we're just waiting for the judge. <laughs> My apologies. <laughs> so, we've got to be five faults in a time of 154805. Oh, five. Our judge is uh, back in the arena there. So, the Star Valley Crazy Dog Ladies. First to go is Jennifer Bannister with Whisper. Nice the over the A-frame. Through that you can do the jump. Left turn, any way to Left onto the seesaw, it has to hit the ground. Onto the top. Back down to the dog walk. Nicely over there. There really is no mean feat getting four dogs around clear in a team. So, we're making the first baton change. Well done, that's a clear round. This is Elaine Smith with Roxy. 
This is Welsh Spring of Spaniel. Round onto the seesaw. Nicely over there. Down to the top. Thank you, Kate. Right, here we go. Team three. It's the ESSC medium team. Any of their fans in today? Oh, we got the Scottish crew in today in full amount. Oh, that's good. Always make loads of noise, which is what you need. First to go, we have Liam Knight working Sonic, a Shetland Sheepdog, five years of age. Sonic's first time competing in cross, house agility. A lot to say, she has some silly times. Obviously a vocal dog. Nothing wrong with being vocal, as we know. Coming around to the seesaw. Up onto the seesaw. Look at that, beautiful. Right to the end, so the seesaw tilted. Into the rigid tunnel, cross to the dog wall. We're up over the dog wall. It's a running contact, which looks like we're okay. The judge is happy. We're on the wheels now. Give it a quick one for the first dog going around. Well, it looks a bit two to go with the baton change coming up. So, first one's clear. Good start there for Sonic. Next to go, we've got Jenny Hillard working. We've got Robbie Shatushindog, also first time working at Crofts in the main arena. And at the moment, we're looking very nice. Okay, across the main middle of the arena now. Dog walk. Nice steady contact, making sure we've got the contact which we did. Into the weaves. We're looking good there with Romy and Jenny working their way now back towards the start and finish line with another baton change. And the baton change is over. We're on to Cantal Kawayata. Looking to Barna, Shetland Sheepdog, four and a half years of age. She says the dog in a million. Wow, again, dog runs straight to the end of the seesaw, no hesitation, and just waits for the tip. Obviously, smaller dogs, they're not small, small these, they're medium size. It takes a little bit longer than the big dogs, and a bit quicker than the small dogs. And we're skipping down those wheels nicely. We've got two more obstacles to go. And the anchor lady is Sam Tao, working penny, a Shetland Sheepdog, five years of age. They've qualified for cross before, so they've been here before, they know what it's all about. It's smooth at the moment, round to that far corner of the arena, we're up onto the seesaw. Great contact again, no problem there, into the tunnel. We're coming across the arena. Look at the score up on the board. Oh! We're all right. I think it's the lights on that, you know, from the kennel club thing. I've watched that before, there you go. Anyway, into the weeds, that's by the by. The dog did the job, it wasn't a problem. 
So, we've now got three to go. Give them a big, big, big round of applause. Come on! Yes! Four clears. What can I say? Kate, over to you. Wow, what a fantastic run there. Goes into the lead, obviously. Amazing run. Well done. OK, so we're on to the Rushton fingers crossed. All ladies again. So come on, ladies. The bar has been set. 140.750 on four clears is the time to beat. So here we go. On to the A-frame. This is Wendy Gilpin with Brooke. Cocker Spaniel. So round on the seesaw. So unlucky, so unlucky, but that's part of uh, part of the rules of the game, as he said. Nevertheless, the experience of being here. Right, next team in, we have Diamond Dogs Are Forever. You could sing that one, couldn't you? I won't do it, though. Anyway, first to go in will be Samantha Davis working Panda, a party poodle. Now, I didn't know what a party poodle was. I've just been told it's a black and white, so it's a party poodle. It does party after it's done its run, obviously. Six years of age, uh, first dog they've been in for three years. Great one to great seven last year, so uh, obviously had an extremely successful season last year. And you can compete pretty well every weekend of the year. Just roll the polo after the seesaw, so five months at the moment. So we know there's one team gone clear. So they're on five fonts. If they can stick on five fonts, that could be in second place. That's what we're looking at. So back change coming up to Dwesselin, please. So, Dwesselin working Darcy, English Springer Spaniel, five years of age, set up Diamond Dogs five years ago, and it's our second year running the team, so we're really pleased to be here. Darcy's on the most of our teammates. So we've got a shared dog, which happens quite a lot. It's how I first got into agility in the late 80s. Somebody lent me a dog. There we go. Here's your last experience of getting in the ring. We're running speedy at the moment. 
Ooh, had a quick look at the uh, barrier there, I think, on the side. Attracted, obviously, maybe to the agility team GP, because the part of the team XG, you never know. Into the rigid tunnel, we've got two to go. Nice run at the moment with Dwesson and Darcy. Well done, back change coming up. Third to go, we have Rue Baker working Shay, but it's Rue, nine and a half years of age. What, what did I miss? Did I miss something? No, I'm reading off the paper. I shall watch. I won't say too much. As you can see, this is quick. And the dog is as well. And that is the only problem you've got, see. I say a problem, it's not a problem. But the smaller dogs, obviously you can see lightweight, they need to get right to the end. So they've now got ten volts. But this dog is a flying. I think Jane was here last year from Verite. Absolutely flying. Look at them weeds, fantastic. Two hurdles to go. And a back change to Melanie Norman working Pepper. English Springer Spaniel, four years of age. What Pepper lacks in size, she makes up in attitude. So, working nicely at the moment, that far side, a boat and seesaw, straight on to the end. Tilts no problem whatsoever. Into the tunnel. Across the main arena. Running contact. We got a little bit wide, lost a little bit tight, but we were all right, we stayed in line, we didn't break the line of jumping. So we're coming across towards the finishing line with two to go. Give him a big round of applause. Ten volts is an achievement in itself. Well done. The guy with dogs are forever. And I'll hand you back to Kate. Okay, so the next team in the ring, this is the Schnauzer Club of Great Britain. Not unsurprisingly made up of Schnauzers. So, first to go, it's going to be Candy Everett with Ollie.
Much, Kate. That was unlucky, wasn't it? But you always get a character every now and again. Always get a character, as you can see by the VT up there. It's just one of those moments. Sometimes see a, a dislike, maybe to the KC jump. I don't know. Maybe like the dog that coloured the green and white. Anyway, right, next team in is the Black Down Agility Club. I think they're from the Ilminster area. And the first dog to go will be James Hill with Wish, a mini American Shepherd, five years of age. Wish actually belongs to Marilyn Adams, and they both wish and James first time at Crofts. So we'll just skip past the A-frame, not quite sure why. There we are. Again, the old dog looks at the A-frame, wants to run up it, and then decides to follow, follow James. Five points at the moment. Sweeping around the far side of the arena. Just skip past and walk, he swept a bit too far and went past the seesaw. And we've gone back over the hurdle, so we've, we've picked an elimination up there. But they'll continue working around. First the elimination, what we've got so far, we've got five folks, five folks, and ten folks. Okay, it probably won't get a place, but they're here in the back. You don't take the experience when you can get it. And it is an experience. Into the rigid tunnel, we'll come around for the back change. That's going to go to Joe Miller. Joe working tequila, Jack Russell, eight years of age, and it's their third appearance at Crofts. <laughs> nice turns, very nice turns. Up the far side, up onto that seesaw. No problems with the seesaw, into the rigid tunnel. Joe giving the arm down, right arm can come out there, pushing the dog on, using the right hand and right arm. Nice contact coming round to those weaves. I think Joe was going round for the seesaw again then. But we're all right. Tequila's on the right route. Mind you, tequila normally takes you on the right route, doesn't it, at the end of the day? Coming around with two to go and another bat change. So the bat change is going to go to Sam Pilwaring. So, Sam and Bree. A spit across the seven years of age. And they're both, it's their first time at Gust, both of them. And I must say, they're working very nicely. Even with Sam giving the dog a round of applause as she goes round towards the seesaw as well. Plenty of encouragement. Just pops off the dog walk before she picks up five volts there. Nice set of weaves coming down towards that rigid tunnel. We've got two to go to the next bat chain, which is to Marilyn Adams. And Marilyn's away. Savvy, check the sheep dog. And it's their third time at Crofts, so I should say that Sam is very rosy. And unfortunately, they've got a eliminated as well. So, uh, two eliminated the team. As I say, they're here, they've got the experience. He has an experience. Up onto the seesaw. No problem there whatsoever. So, across the middle of the arena. Speed's picking up down the dog walk, nice contact. Into the weeds. Look at those weeds, super set of weeds there for Zabby. Into the rigid tunnel with two to go and a big round of applause for them and even though they were eliminated, well done and lucky there to black down. And I'll pass you back to Kate for the next team. Thank you very much, Nigel. So that was, uh, that was Black Friars. As you can see, unfortunately, they just picked up a couple of eliminations there, taking the wrong course, as you can see. Okay, so next on the line, this is Kidderminster Dog Club. Anybody from Kidderminster? Yay, excellent. So this is Willow and Karen Gibbons running first. Nicely over the A-frame. 
Fourth year at Crofts, this little dog is no stranger to the main arena. So, on to the seesaw, down into the tunnel. On to that dog walk, making sure she gets the contacts. Not sure what she looked at there, but she looked at something as we go into the weaves. Into the tunnel, two to go. And the baton. It's going to be taken from Sue. So this is Sue Powell and Spice. Picks up five there, unfortunately, just took a brick out of the wall. This was a bit close, I think, when she started. So we're on five forks as we go on to the seesaw. Very nicely right to the end there. On to the dog walk. Turning left into those weaves. Down into the tunnel, two to go. And Sue is taking the baton from Stuart. So, Stuart Milton and Tegan, Border Collie. Nine years old. Turning left and turning right. Oh, the pole is gone, so we're on ten forks. In total for the 14. Sorry, for the four members of the team. As we go on to the dog walk. Very nicely through those weave poles. Stuart is going to be taking the baton from Liz. And we're off. So this is Kira, working Cocker Spaniel. Uh, Stuart took the pole down, so that's 15 in total. Down onto the seesaw. Turning left onto that dog walk. We get both ends, does very nicely into the weaves. Into the last tunnel, two to go. Well done. 15 faults and a time of 144847. So back to Nigel for the last team. No problem. Last team is the Carnforth Crackers. We're just watching the VT up on the top there. I've just picked up five volts, you can see that. Bit of a slide there as well. Quick little collie, that one. Any rate, the Carnforth Crackers. What can I say about them? Jackie Tarn's kicking off with Jessica, working sheepdog. A well established dog trainer in the Northeast, isn't that Jackie? Well known. I've known for about 30 odd years. However, in her spare time, she enjoys kicking the night away. Developing her salsa skills. Wow. But then that does come in handy as far as agility goes, because a lot of the moves that you see the handlers making when they're competing are almost like dance moves. In fact, they probably are dance moves. Go, 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 go. Yes. So, Jackie and Jessica. Nice start. Jackie using the left hand and arm there to direct the dog into the tunnel. Saves her a bit of legwork. For some reason, we've popped off the end. So we've picked up five faults on the dog walk. Just popped off five faults there, which is a shame. Nevertheless, nice run otherwise. Well done, Jackie. Next in, Lisa Cummings, working Cooper, working sheepdog, six years of age. Lovely dog, this one. Uh, Cooper's a dog in a million, so uh, Linda tells me. Fast little dog, though, as you can see. It's funny, because when I walked the course earlier on, I didn't do a, a microphone one, but I walked in, I thought, interesting to see how many dogs run around the side of the seesaw, and so far we've been all right. Just because of the speed, really, that they come around there. That was close. Look at those weaves, rapid weaves. So we're still on five, and we're going for baton change. So Louise Rain, working Paris, the working sheepdog, I can't believe that, but it says here in her spare time, Louise enjoys embroidery, knitting and needlework. She probably does, to be fair. Uh, they're laughing up there, so that's probably wrong. Anyway, I didn't write these, I'm going to read them out, but I don't always read all of it out. But I'll read the rest as well, because she supports her mum, Jackie, with her salsa dancing techniques. I think someone's having a laugh with me today. Anyway, five faults on the dog walk, so they're up to ten faults at the moment. So I would probably put them into about fourth place if they could beat the ten faults time. So, anchor lady coming up, which is Heather McLean, working Mui. Mui's a working sheepdog, nine years of age. 
I've been through several major operations, so it's lovely to have her back competing. She's looking very good at the moment. Had a spare time consistent developing her skills in... I, I think this team are having a bit of a laugh at me, because believe it or not, Heather develops her spare time with haggis throwing, which is a very popular sport in Scotland. Now, if you believe that like I believe it, then there's something wrong with us. But anyway, I might be wrong. I'll ask her after. Maybe if she's got one with her in the car or the van, I'll get her to demonstrate it. Henry, big round of applause. They ended up with 15 faults in 141.07. And we will be back very shortly with presentation for the team. Thank you very much. Okay, so a big thank you to you, can Uber support him. And starting off in first place, I will say it again, four clears, four clears. Team ESSC medium, fantastic. <laughs> Only the second time in all my years of commentating in teams I've ever commentated on four clears. So I don't get to say ringside rescue dog agility, I don't know one ten if you're interested in that. Sorry, it's not one forty, I do apologise. And in second place, five faults unfortunately, the clever dog college team one. They were the first ones to go. Well done, clever dog college. Uh, just to keep up to date with as far as agility goes. 140 is rescue dog agility, 205, 5 plus 2, cross single, small, medium and large agility. 10 plus 3, cross large, novice and medium, ABC final agility. And 4 o'clock, fly ball. Fly ball. So, a big thank you to Cathy. I think Cathy put on a fantastic course there for the team. What do you reckon, agility folks? Well done, Cathy. It's lap of honour time. <laughs> 